Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, ladies. How y'all doing today? Um, it's August 19, 2020. That's 8-19-2020. And it's 10.06 a.m. All right. And I'm just coming here to talk about uh, the new Netflix original movie with Jamie Foxx and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And I don't know if you've seen it or not, but to me, it's a great comedy, action comedy film. Uh, Let me know your opinion. Chime in. Let me know. Um, I've had people talking about it. I had some people say that it wasn't a 10 out of 10. But I feel like when it comes to action comedies or whatever, it 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 hit all the marks, all the theatrical marks that um, needed to be hit. I mean, look at it like this. Hello. Oh yeah, don't you just hate it when they call and interrupt? <laughs> Anyway, sorry about that, (laughs) y'all. You never know who's going to call your phone. And sometimes, you know, it's important. You just got to, you know, answer it. And it seems like all at all the times I would have been recording, um, that would have been the time for them to call. But anyway, um, so, yeah, Jamie Foxx and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Now, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Now, these are two uh, top-notch A-lister actors. So, when Netflix came up with this film and put it out there or whatever, the, <coughs> even the concept was um, brilliant. You know? You know what I mean? Even the concept was brilliant. Like, just think about it. The concept of the movie is that you take a pill and for five minutes you get powers but you don't know what the power is you don't know what your power is going to be now on the other hand sometimes there's defects and you might die or the pill might make you explode or you know or the power that you have is so unbearable so uncontrollable that you die, you kill yourself, whatever. You know what I'm saying? There is a risk. So just think about it. There is a risk behind taking this pill, but is it worth it? Would you ever take a pill that could possibly kill you, but for five minutes you have powers? Like, you can, you know, pyro uh, maniac or. You know, just, just just think of something that you would, uh, you know, a power that you think you would uh, be interested in. And then you later on in the movie, you find out these powers are derived from experiments done on animal testings. Because animals have, like, natural um, defense mechanisms or whatever. And, yeah. Now, Jamie Foxx. The, his role in the movie is he's going after his daughter. Um, Jamie Foxx, um, he's an army ranger that they did experiments on. They call him Major in the movie. And again, if it wasn't for him and the other people that he was, uh, had experiment, that got experiment on, there would be no. Uh, power pill you know and then there's a, and the show was based out of New Orleans so they're out there in the 504 testing 
basically beta testing these pills or whatever, and the pill is going for five hundred dollars a pill. Would you try that? Is it worth it? Five minutes, five hundred dollars, man. So you know, of course, they making bank, and the the main character, this girl or whatever, uh, I guess she's a uh, senior in high school. And her mom is sick. I guess she has cancer or something, you know. That's the general thing people have these days. It seems like, you know, people are always out there fighting and battling against cancer, you know. And for that sucks. Uh, I'd be happy when they come up. Or they might even actually have a cure. But, you know, that's usually passed out to more fortunately rich. Anyway, um... So, yeah, we, we got Joseph Gordon-Levitt. His role in the movie is he is a cop. Shoo! A cop. Shoo! Uh. So, think about it. He's a cop. The pill is giving people powers that are overtaking the... Uh, uh, you know, the police or whatever. So, then he feels that he needs pills to level the playing field. And in the process of doing that, he gets shot and he's kind of like um, invulnerable or something like that. So the bullet bounces off or whatever. His captain sees it. They go into a restaurant and have a little talk. His captain directs him to war. He's like, man, we got to do something. You know what I'm saying? This is my city. I'm not going to let it. Because he tried to take his gun and badge. He was like, well, here's the bad guy. Bring him to me. And he points him towards Jamie Foxx. Although, that's not the case. Jamie Foxx is trying to take down the whole organization, the whole situation, and get back his daughter. Because after they discovered that you know, like I said, if you take the pill, you get it for five minutes. Jamie Foxx passes it on through his DNA uh, to his daughter, and she has it forever, whatever power she has, you know? Ultimately, they go, and uh, the final battle is on this huge ship, you know, freighter ship or whatever, and... Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Jerry Fox and the girl who is a very talented rapper. You know what I'm saying? She's a wordsmith. She's in there. She's eating up the mic. There's a scene in there where Jamie Fox, she's like, uh, give me a word. You know what I'm saying? And she eats the mic on every one of them. Straight up freestyling. You know, killing the game. So, with with all of that, um, you just, you never know, you know what I'm saying, who got what skill. And then, uh, he uses her to, you know, finally get to his daughter. And all by the end of the movie, there's an epic scene and, you know, all is well. I mean... They kind of left it open to where there could be a sequel. I'm not saying that there's going to be a sequel, but they did leave it open. Like, um, although he got closure, he got what he was looking for, they left it open to where um, you could turn around and, you know, the, the, the company that's making these pills or whatever could still come after Jamie Foxx and his daughter. You know, I feel like um, they, they basically just get in a truck and ride into the sunset. You know, sorry about the spoiler there, but you know, hopefully by now, if you're even listening to this, you're watching it. You've already watched it. Who <laughs> just wants somebody else's opinion on the movie and gets in a truck and rides to the sunset and the whole time I'm thinking like 
y'all didn't even check her. You know what I'm saying? You didn't look to see if she got tracking devices implanted in her body or anything. Because, I mean, if you see her, that's the first thing that you would think. Like, oh, man, they definitely have put a tracking device, like, in the back of her neck or something. So, yeah, it's crazy. And then with all of that being the case, you just be like, what's the next thing or whatever? I also will say this, the soundtrack, oh my God, it seems like it's a pretty nice soundtrack from what I can remember. I heard some songs on there. It was a point in time where I heard a song where uh, there's like Little Wayne was rapping or whatever. And I thought that was pretty good. So, you know, just thought. Food for thought, I guess. Now, I appreciate everyone who tunes in. I haven't uh, really posted on here or um, done anything lately. You know, just been chilling. But I gotta, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep building. So, if you would, please, 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 don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, um, tune in to my YouTube channel, all of those things or whatever, because. I'm getting, I'm getting, hey, 2020, 2021 next year. Uh, also, yeah, that's something else I can say. Don't forget to get out there and vote. November's coming up soon. Um, and I'll say it just like, um, um, I'll say it just like Michelle Obama said it. I know Joe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like, she was like, Joe is the right guy for the job. I know Joe. I know Joe Biden. And he is what this country needs in the upcoming uh, year of the upcoming election. So please, please go vote for Joe Biden. Um, a lot of cases or whatever, and this is what I've noticed, it never works. Like, I'm just going to be real with you. Um... Every time I've seen, it, it's rare, you know what I'm saying? I, I could go back and look into it, but a vice president running for presidency after being in office for as vice president to go on and try to be the president, it never works out that way. Like, it, it, it's, you know what I'm saying? What is this, the 80s, you know? <laughs> like, no, you know? Um, like, it never really works out that way. Maybe for the Republicans, but not for the Democrats. And I'm sorry, but I I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, hopefully things will get better no matter who is in office. Hopefully we can all uh, come together. I mean... Either way, it's four more years of someone, right? Four more years of someone. And, you know, I just hope that this whole coronavirus situation slows down and stops and we can go back to business as usual. And I thank you all and I appreciate you. And with all that being said, just tune in and keep supporting uh, this podcast and every other thing I've got going. Oh, TikTok. Please uh, go follow me on there too. I'm, I'm posting more videos. Thank you. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this and stay tuned for the next video.